Lana says her own father got her hooked on meth when she was a teenager. Years later, she found her husband through the drug. Dennis was a meth cook, and Lana was his customer. Their relationship grew out of their shared addiction to methamphetamine. Lana and Dennis have been clean for more than a year, but the real damage has happened inside their bodies, in the brain. Before Lana started using meth, a chemical called dopamine was recycled by nerve cells, or neurons, in several regions of her brain. Dopamine is a substance that helps nerve cells communicate with one another. When Lana ate chocolate cake, or watched her daughter take her first steps, her neurons released dopamine, and Lana experienced a sense of pleasure. But when methamphetamine enters the brain, neurons can't discriminate between the drug and dopamine. Since dopamine is chemically almost identical to meth, the drug's molecules can sneak into a neuron, and then, like a stick of dynamite, release an explosion of dopamine. But chronic meth use depletes the supply of dopamine stored in the brain. This means that over time, a hit of meth or a positive life experience triggers a diminished release of dopamine. Translation, Lana has a hard time experiencing any kind of pleasure. You're numb, you're numb. I still have a hard time like laughing at jokes, so um, having feeling with anything, including, I mean, stuff between us, it's just, it's hard to, you're still learning how to do that and getting that back and your brain's healing. Your brain. Lana's neurons may recover, but the process could take years, and they may never completely return to normal. When she got pregnant, she, she 